Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Castor back at you with Plugin Boutique and I've got another Reason Rack plugin tutorial for you. In this video, I'm really excited because I'm gonna be sharing with you one of the players. It's called Scales and Chords and it's absolutely phenomenal. So right here inside of the Reason Rack plugin, I've got Subtractor loaded up with a little bit of reverb on it. And I'm just pressing some keys on my keyboard. If I press a chord, I get my chord. If I press a single key, I get my single key. Now, if I come into the browser, and come into the player section, built-in devices, scales and chords. I'm just gonna drag and drop that right in here. Now watch what happens if I press one key on my keyboard. I'm actually getting a chord played. I'm actually getting the C major. I'm pressing this key and I'm getting this chord. Is that not really cool? That has to do with the chords control. That's on right now. So if I go ahead and turn that off and press, I'm getting my keys again, but let's change the scale. Let's come into F minor. You can see here that the D is unhighlighted. So right now, if I press C, C is a part of the F minor scale, so I'm getting that. And if I press the D, I'm actually getting a C sharp. So with the filter nodes turned off, what it's going to do is move any incorrect notes to the uh, notes inside of the scale. So if you're playing on your keyboard, no matter what keys you're pressing, you're always gonna be inside of the scale you set out here, which is really, really cool. If I turn on filter notes and hit a wrong key, nothing will come out. So with filter notes off, I'm getting moved automatically into the scale with filter notes on. I'm just not gonna be allowed to play bad keys. This is actually really helpful if you're gonna be trying to learn a scale with your keyboard. I suggest turning filter notes on and like trying to run you know, certain melodies and keep inside of the scale. And if you hit a key and nothing comes out, it means you're outside of the scale. Very, very helpful. I'm gonna actually turn that back down and let's turn on chords. With chords on, it's gonna work the same way with the filter notes. I'm pressing the D here and I'm not getting any output. With it off, I'm gonna get my chord that's closest to that in relation. So we also have how many notes are gonna be part of the scale. And it's also helpfully showing me the name of the chord itself as I add notes to it. We also have inversion control over here. We've got five different ones. We've got the normal one, and then we've got four other inversion options. Really expands the possibilities. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that back down and put it on a triad. We also have open chords. Again, further expanding the possibilities. And then we have the ability to add extra notes to any of the chords we're playing. So if I add an octave up, here is without it. Here is with it. I can do that with an octave down as well. And I can also add color. Again, it's just gonna give me more variations on what I can do. And I can have all of these on at the same time if I wanted or any combination. The alter is gonna give me, again, more options and variety on the output here. And it only happens when I hold this down. So if I repeatedly press the C, I'm getting a C minor. And watch what happens when I press and hold alter. I'm going from the C minor to the C. Okay, so there you go. In a nutshell, the Scales and Chords player inside of the Reason Rack plugin. It is absolutely phenomenal for people who are struggling with music theory or looking to expand on what they already know. Very, very cool and very awesome that it's a part of this free giveaway. Anyway, I'm Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.